the topic we have is psychology of emotions there is no necessity for us to explain the the importance of emotions in our life there's no big uh, doubt we have on that because it has an influence it has a a say in every aspect of life be it your uh, perceptions be it your actions your uh, you know relationships your decisions take any dimension of your life in every aspect this emotion plays a vital role now the question comes to us is uh, what is the nature of that emotion what is it and from where it comes how are we to deal with emotions today most of us experience the emotions that we have is more of our weakness rather than strength you see like people say you know anger management there's a lot of discussion we have about anger management today why because you see because of anger you have suffered a lot you have suffered financial you have suffered physical you have suffered your relationships so there is a lot of problems you are you are encountering because of anger therefore you wanted to manage anger same way strangely you do experience when you trust somebody also sir i have been so genuine i helped this fellow to come up in life and i am the one one fellow is telling me few years back sir can you you know the tragedy of my work i say what i am the one who gave the appointment letter to him i did the interview i selected that fellow he came into the company because of me and in in 6 to 8 months time that fellow gave him the pink slip and said well, get out of the company he says now we say therefore we say what don't trust anybody you know don't believe anyone the first advice given to every retirement per, 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 per person is what don't give all your retirement benefits to your son you know keep the house in your name don't transfer the house in your son's name why otherwise your son will throw you out if not your son definitely the better half will throw you out <laughs> no therefore what now today you see you you have faith on somebody you you trust someone there is problem you love someone there is problem you 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 feel jealous there is problem now any sort of emotion that you we experience in life and if you trace back all your problems in life somewhere down the line you will see a great hand of this emotion playing behind it there is a share now the question comes to all of us is sir is if emotions is such a problem in life therefore one group of people decided to do what they don't have any emotions that's why we have invented a new terminology called we are all professionals what do you mean by professional it's a professional relationship means what there is no emotional transaction between you and me it is purely what you do work i do this after that people call and ask how is our service one you know one fellow called and asked me sir can you rate our service i said when did you do service first of all i said no no we did no i said who told that is service that's a professional relationship i needed a job from you you charged me for that i paid you period purely transactional that's how this facebook instagram relationships were built over gadgets not face to face why because in the gadget you have the that is why i said everyone should keep the video on is it why suddenly you switch on the video 
we, you know, we don't have that problem at all actually. I can do anything. You see that? And still I will be receiving. I said, I can also do the same thing. No. If that is the case, I can put a tape recorder. There are recorded classes of mine available. For the last about 18 years of my recordings were available. Audio recording which runs to about, you know, about, you know, easily about 1000 hours recording we have. We can just play that and you listen. I also walk, you also walk. I can do my job, you can do your job, said. Now here what happens, sir? Suddenly there is a, there's a difference. Emotions. The emotions that we experience, is that strength or weakness? We love to have emotions as a strength. We lecture, that's the strength of human. But your experience shows the other way around. Your experience says, no, emotions doesn't look like strength to my life. At the same time, can I do away with it? That is also not possible. You can't have emotion, nor can you do away with emotions. If you have emotions, stressful life. Do away with emotions, boring life, mechanical life. Now you can't afford to live either case. Therefore, we need to study as to how do you Deal with it, sir. Now, there are a few basic things we need to understand. When we, in the discussion of emotions, there are a couple of things we need to understand. First one, there's no hierarchy here. I'm just giving one, two, three, okay? The first dimension is, emotions are experienced by us in one place, understood in another place. Emotions are felt at the level of the mind. Manas. It is the buddhi that understands the emotions. So, experiencing emotion is different from expressing that emotion and transacting with emotion. This is the basic thing we need to understand. In any emotion, there are two aspects to it. One dimension of emotion is the feeling part. Another dimension of emotion is the expression part. One is the mother feels the love for the child. Okay. It is quite another how that mother expresses that love to the child. That's what we see, you know, two kids sit and talk. My mother loves me so much, it says. One child is telling the other child. The way it says so much itself, we understand how deep it is. Right. Now the other child asks this one. How do you say that? You know why I'm saying? Because whatever I ask, my mother gives me. Therefore, my mother loves me so much. Imagine the mother sitting in the ne next room, over here in the over here in the conversation. The mother will be telling herself what? A hey, better. My love is much, 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 much more than what you have understood, isn't it? whether it is love or any time you get angry there are two things that are happening there one is the inner feeling of anger another one is the expression of anger how you express anger see that's where you see lot of variations there are people who will get angry and they start crying have you seen Usually kids do that. That's why children get angry. It is beautiful to see. You know, I love that. I, you know, whenever I see a child, first thing I do is, you know, instigate them to get angry. 
and it's amazing to see and they you know they get so angry and they start crying one group there's another group of people when they get angry they go silent they don't talk another group of people you know will start throwing things breaking things another group of people will start abusive words start shout 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 shouting and use you know vulgar languaging and all those things some of them can even go to the extent of hitting also depends on who is the other party okay hitting means the fellow will he will never see how much ever i get angry with my tyson i will never go and hit him i can get angry with him but i will never go and hit my tyson why that's what we see you know there are people who say you know whenever he gets angry he will start hitting people sir he will not hit everyone he will hit only people who don't hit him back who cannot hit him back see that anger how you express that anger is different from how much you feel that anger remember these two things first without understanding there are two dimensions to emotions you can never deal with it now the feeling part of the emotion belongs to the domain called mind the expression part should go to buddhi intellect the thinking point number 1 now when it comes to this feeling dimension the mind who actually generates that emotion who actually feels it feels the emotion he doesn't understand there is good emotion bad emotion productive and productive higher lower positive negative nothing none of these distinctions will be understood by the mind all this belongs to the domain of intellect it is intellect that understands this is higher this is lower this is productive this is unproductive this is right this is wrong this is positive negative this belongs to the domain of intellect who is experiencing it the mind is experiencing he doesn't understand all that mind understands only one thing remember this if you understand this you will know how to deal with emotion all that you requires only these two points if you understand these two points the entire discussion you can have in terms of you know the huge jargon we use these days you know emotional intelligence i know how many of you have heard this you know, nowadays a lot of people talk about emotional what is emotional intelligence you ask he says it's very difficult sir there is nothing difficult man that's all it is there are two aspects to it one is what feeling domain expression domain two different things there one two the mind which is actually generating that emotion doesn't understand positive negative and all that he cannot because it doesn't belong to that domain it belongs to the domain of intellect buddhi not manas so how much ever you tell that mind you know generate good emotions positive emotions now he will never understand what are you talking it's like suddenly if i start talking in arabic i don't know how many of you will understand forget about arabic madras tamil if i start talking you will not follow some of you may say you know tamil also if i start talking madras tamil it will be it will be difficult for people to follow why the language itself you cannot understand similarly the mind who is actually feeling that emotion cannot understand the language of positive negative good bad right wrong appropriate inappropriate nothing then what he understands he understands only one thing his understanding is intensity minds domain is 
only intensity any emotion that is experienced by you intensely it starts feeling it more and more anything it doesn't matter what it is your mind will not bother about all that things now once you understand this we derive so many points out of it there is the advantage of vedanta you see we study vedanta we get everything how sir this is all it is you understand the basic you can derive everything out of it there is no problem very easy after that you see vedanta says look here man mind cannot understand all this it understands only which one you are feeling more intensely think carefully in your life do you feel intensity of anger more versus faith bhakti devotion gratitude love kindness compassion how intensely you feel your fr- fr- frustrations your irritations when you are angry have you have you observed a person who is angry you can't observe when you are angry at least you should be able to observe the person who is angry you see them whole system participates every fiber of the system is reverberating with that, with that emotion whereas when a person says i am loving it's a very simple thing you know a lot of people come to me you know, you know for this uh, counseling and all those things you know which i don't encourage but still you know people come when they come you know they talk about their problems the the pain that they have experienced about 25 years back when they are narrating that instant today the tri- you know the tears starts trickling automatic whereas when i ask them to narrate the happiest moment of their life how do you narrate it as a matter of fact try this look into your own self now when you are discussing when you are we, it's only a memory what happened about 25 years back you know that family told that to me that day this is what happened you know that day when i was in demand of some help i asked this guy he refused you know that as he was speaking the fellow collapses whereas when you talk about happiness what is it a new friend gets introduced to you versus you lose a friend which one do you talk, you you talk about where there is more intensely you feel now the moment you you tell that mind i i am feeling more intensely this set of emotions what that mind starts doing is that's what you want therefore it starts feeling that more and more it will go on feeling the same thing why because that's the repetition mind is just going on repeating the same thing wherever you feel intense it will repeat because mind is a mechanism it's a it's a mechanical device repeating it will go on saying the same thing repeat 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 is the mind now if you were to tell that mind i am going to give intensity to the emotions which are not productive according to me my mind will not understand that the mind will feel what oh you are feeling that intensely no therefore what i am going to do repeat 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 more the repetition what happens more the intensity more the repetition more the intensity more the repetition over a period of time your mind you can put that mind in any situation somehow it will create a culture in you to feel that emotion you you can't change after that after that it is impossible to change that mind 
that's why when people come you know this uh, you know uh, counseling and all that the counselor understands the problem of the client the very first day but the client will understand and come out of it after 15 years what is the difference why is it taking 15 years for the you may say a counselor is more more intelligent no no in fact this fellow is far far intelligent than the counselor then then what is it sir that intensity that i have given to it now we go to this question of what is that intensity how you go repetition how it becomes more intense repeating every time you repeat you are adding more energy to it you are adding more value to it you are giving more importance to it you are giving extra value to it extra attention is given you know when i say energy don't start thinking you know some vibration will come and all that nothing of that is there okay what all that it means is you are giving extra attention to it to anything you give extra attention that starts growing that's all isn't it you give attention to business business grows you give attention to your social circle social circle grows you give attention to your family family relationship grows if you don't give attention there what happens slow decay that's about it slowly it will disappear that's all same way works here so emotions you understand these two points okay then comes the behavioral pattern of any emotion right third point behavioral pattern what is the pattern of emotions sir every emotion behaves exactly like waves no matter whether it is positive or i i i'll just explain what is positive emotion what is negative emotion and how do you know we'll just come back to it now since i started this we will go here first now emotion behaves exactly like waves you stand in the shore you see a wave develops bigs bigger 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 and come lashes on the shore and then if you see the wave stays and lingers on the shore for a while and then naturally recedes back goes back then next emotion gallops just galloping galloping it just you know adds on adds on becomes bigger 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 and hits then what happens sir it stays there for a while and then goes back no matter how big the wave is it will go back even tsunami wave will go back the water is not going back because of our buildings yes we have put up a building in those places therefore the water did not go back otherwise every wave what is the law sir law is this every wave has these three stages three states it works generated galloping stage lingering stage receding stage whether you have anger you have jealousy you have uh, love you have compassion what you name it every emotion works the same pattern there is no difference so how do you deal with any emotion sir depending on the size of the wave all that you have to do is what just wait that's where all this horoscope fellow score out of out of you you go to any horoscope person they say what moon maso you know next 3 months that's all once that graha changes you know things now what is he doing 75% of it is what sir it is just buying time you see this is what that fellow does it's the same thing your therapist also will do don't think therapist is doing anything different every one of them by time for what 
when you buy that's what people say time heals you say what is time healing time has no other job to do or what to come and do, to apply bomb to you and heal you nothing of that naturally what happens sir it goes back you see when it goes back you feel what appa the tragedy is what you feel it is gone no it is gone back only to come again it goes back only to come again it goes back only to come again this is the pattern of emotions remember the pattern so remember the principle and the pattern now comes this sir now if mind is not going to understand what is positive negative and all those things how will i know which to be promoted which not to be promoted i have a feeling i have to decide should i entertain that or not for which i have to decide what is the quality of it the nature of that emotion i have to decide whether it is good for me or bad for me i have to decide that now there are very many ways of identifying it i'll give you two okay how do you identify when when an emotion gushes out in you how will you know whether it is positive or negative okay principle number 1 is in any emotional dealings there are two parties involved always one is the giver of emotion another one is the receiver of emotion when i get angry i am throwing out anger and my wife is a receiver usually husband throws anger only at wife is the same vice versa also you know happens my wife doesn't throw anger at me she throws you know all the vessels at me that's all that's me you're very athletic i said in a practice yeah you know diving catch la we do in the slip you know? i'm just joking huh? she is very good okay i get angry and i throw my anger at her so who is i am the giver of that emotion and she is the receiver right sometimes you know my wife loves me i say she is giving love and i am receiving love apply the rule the rule is this in any emotional transaction both the parties were to be cherishing that it's positive the one who is giving should enjoy also the one who is receiving should enjoy take the case of forgiveness when you forgive someone the very forgiveness you enjoy isn't it similarly when someone forgives you how you feel when you love someone that love is enjoyable you see that when someone loves you the very love that you are receiving is enjoyable take the contrary anger the one who is throwing anger is not enjoying it you may ask me how do you know ishwaran what is the proof of it sir only one question i ask if you are enjoying you should continue to stay in that for a longer period of time in anger do you continue to stay longer no you want to vent it out quickly you want to get out of anger quickly nobody is the the person who is getting angry doesn't enjoy that he is anger similarly when someone shows tantrum at you do you enjoy no 
neither the giver nor the receiver enjoys in any emotion both the parties get agitated negative any emotion both the parties enjoy positive one i'll give you one more indication how you can identify whether an emotion is positive or negative the moment you become aware or alert of that emotion see what happens to the emotion if the emotion were to shrink if the emotion were to go on hide if the emotion were to disappear negative the moment you become alert and aware of that emotion if that emotion were to swell grow that's called positive i repeat in the light of alertness awareness consciousness whatever word you want to use you can use i don't care okay i am just using the word alertness the moment you become alert that this is the emotion i'm experiencing see what happens to that emotion instantly immediately it will try to hide if it were to lose that intensity we call it negative the moment i become alert and that emotion gets bigger it's called positive now apply these two rules to all the emotions that you are experiencing doesn't matter what it is the emotion with which you can dis de 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 decide what to do with that emotion right now we come to the point of sir how are we to deal with that emotion what am i to do with emotions sir remember i told you the rule rule is feeling is different expression is different in your life all the problems that you get into is because you allow that feeling to express without the intervention of your thinking remember this the expression of emotion has to be always under the guidance of your discriminative thinking intellect if the emotion itself were to decide the expression i give an absurd example okay for you to understand the point it's a very subtle idea you know it needs a lot of explanation but we don't have time to go go into the detailed analysis of it but remember this absurd example this is okay my daughter has been diagnosed example only here yeah? okay a daughter is diagnosed with appendix is going to burst and i put her in the hospital and i tell the doctor look here doctor who loves my daughter more you or me i love my daughter more than you for you this is one more to me only daughter therefore let me do the surgery what will happen you see that the doctor has no emotions towards my daughter as much as the love that i have towards her but still surgery i cannot do i should not do it cannot be done it is wrong you understand the difference no the feeling is there the concern is there i am more worried when the surgery is going on when these people ask me can can we go and have a cup of coffee and come i can't say yes man let's go and have coffee and come back i'll be standing outside that theater operation theater i'm standing there waiting to see what had what had happened this is not true okay in my case it actually went off 
They say, we'll go and have one coffee and come back. I called, you know, people, you know, go there. They were all asking me, you know, my father was sick. His surgery was going on inside. We were having coffee there in that, you know, terrace garden. They're like, how can you be so heartless? You know? I said, see, if I stand next to that operation theatre, is it going to make any difference to the doctor or is it going to make any difference to my dad? Now, this is where we get mixed up. You see that? Now, if I'm standing next to that door, waiting for the doctor to come out, I am a loving son, loving father. If I go for a cup of coffee and come back, what am I called? Now, you, you see the difference. Now, this is where we make a blunder. That's what happened to, you go to this case, you go to the Puranas. In Mahabharata, Dhridrashtra is born blind. Okay. He has never seen who is Duryodhana. Isn't it? Imagine, no. That, that's how you are supposed to read those books. You read Mahabharata, how you read it is like this. See, this fellow is born blind. He has never seen who is Duryodhana. Duryodhana has come. Duryodhana has gone. He is there. Now, somebody is telling him he is hearing the sound. Duryodhana. 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 That's all. All of you know, in our tradition, we don't keep touch. We don't touch people. You know that. We don't touch. You know, so he has never got that opportunity to go on touching him, seeing him all the time. Nothing of that sort. Then what is this sir? That emotional attachment that he had towards Duryodhana clouded his thinking completely. He could not understand in spite of Krishna showing his Vishwarupa to this fellow and says, any chance you fellows have in front of me, still that fellow says what? Mm -hmm. I will not. You see, you, you see the extreme. And then you taper it down. Oh, this is how you deal with emotions. Now, this doesn't mean you dismiss emotions. I'll give you one more example. Because Bina keeps on saying, you know, Ishwaran gives, you know, very practical examples. Yeah, I learned it only through that, that's all. I don't know anything else. He, he keeps on saying, you know, it's an easy example, Ishwaran. At least example you will remember. If you don't remember the concept, at least example you will remember. See, before you take any decision, execute any action, remember to do this. How you deal with emotions, sir? I'll give you two points for that again. For everything today, I'm giving two, 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 two points. You know. First one is introduce it exactly like when do you have curd rice south indian eating pattern what is it sir sambar first thing what they'll do sir sambar they'll have and then rasam and then curd rice now without curd rice you can never satisfy a south indian brahmin not possible you can take him to Italian restaurant also. He will ask for curd rice. He will go there and ask, hey, Samba Sadarka, I will ask. That's called the South Indian Brahmin. He can't survive without it. Nothing right or wrong in that, please. That's what they are. That's all it is. Nothing great about it, please. It's just a habit you have formed. That's all. Now, remember like that. This deserts, when do you have? You don't start your meal with a dead desert. You conclude with it. Just before completing your meal, you just have a little. You're supposed to have a little only. Eh? Now, there are people who have desert itself as main course. You know, if I go for wedding, I start reverse always. I start from deserts, conclude with soup. That's why I come because of easy access. 
by that time because the whole crowd will stand here desert section will be empty we go there and have slowly settle down with soup then some expert told me hey that's the right way to eat ishwaran how do you know that i said i don't know all those things man i went based on the principle wherever crowd is don't go there that's the rule you know nobody is there you go there you know, like that how do you do sir desert like when just before you know execution of action just before taking the decision introduce that emotion how much sir not the whole thing like a pickle in a bowl of curd rice you just add a little pickle to it isn't it even if you are from andhra you will not have the other way around you know not a bowl of pickle and one spoon of curd rice in that no bowl of curd rice and a spoon of pickle it's tasty you see that emotion should be used like that emotion should be used to that portion just before deciding introduce how much sir little like pickle one second aspect is how you deal with emotions sir second dimension is birbal equation how do you shorten the line don't touch it don't try to work with your negative emotions don't try to handle them forget it start promoting the thing what you want to promote don't work on your weaknesses that's what i keep telling people you know never work on your weaknesses rajini gand has weaknesses did he bother he cannot act you know that rajini gand acting you know versatility ala he doesn't have but he has one strength what he does sir just worked on his strength he worked on his strength he worked on the strength the lion in the jungle works on the strength of it it has weaknesses it doesn't bother the cheetah has a weakness but it has a strength it works on what strength or weakness forget about the negative emotions that you have you have anger you have jealousy you have you know irritations you have this you have eyes i said don't worry about it let it be there who 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 bothers about it take a positive one draw a bigger line in the presence of that this goes insignificant that's how you deal with emotions so start building your emotions that you want to which means expression of even your genuine emotions selfless emotions unselfish emotions needs to be under the governance of your discriminating intellect the feeling part of it providing that intensity to it the repetition to it has to be done by the mind so this fellow does his job that fellow does his job your life will be good if any one of them not doing their job or this fellow does that job and that fellow does his job will not work remember this there's a better chance of your growth the mind feels the emotion intellect decides the expression manifestation of it without the guidance the direction of intellect never express your emotions how much ever genuine that could be how much ever positive it could be right are you